Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and in this video we're going to go over the latest release from Adobe for the 2018 Lightroom Classic CC Updates version 7.3. So the brand new update for Lightroom CC was just released and there are three main things that I want to kind of cover that have been changed in the Lightroom CC Classic version. Now this is only for the Classic. Uh, there were some enhancements to the uh, regular CC version or classically call, called the mobile version, uh, but I'm just going to concentrate on the Classic version now. So the first thing I want to talk about is pretty much an easy one and that is the movement of the slider of the dehaze slider. You can see here over on the right in the basic panel we have the dehaze slider now under uh, uh, right under clarity. Now, in my opinion, this is where it should have been before. Uh, you might have found it originally under the effects panel, but now they have moved it up to the uh, basic panel, so a little bit easier to get to, uh, and it will definitely help your photos. It kind of adds a little bit of uh, a little bit of contrast. Uh, definitely removes haze, uh, given the name of it. Adds a, a little bit of contrast to certain parts of the images, and also saturates it a little bit. So it's going to be a very useful tool to use if you haven't used one already. Next, let's cover profiles. Now, profiles is a very, uh, very, very, very useful tool in Lightroom. Uh, it, it was originally down in the calibration section. Uh, you have the profiles here, and you would, it would be right around this area. But now Adobe has actually made these a lot more prevalent, and you can see them in the basic panel as well. You're going to see a profile, and you're going to see where it's set, set to Adobe Standard. Uh, this is probably going to be Adobe Standard or Adobe, Adobe Color is going to be the default. And in here, you can actually change the, uh, the 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 way your image actually processes your raw files. You will only see the profile section for raw files. It's a way of changing how Adobe uh, kind of processes your raw files. Uh, it's a it's a really great option, and I'm glad it's there. Uh, but if you uh, want to see the changes of them, you can actually click on one of them and see the changes that it makes to your uh, your image, your preview image here, and just start playing around with them. Adobe Vivid's another one. You can see how it changes. However, if you want to see a full list of them, you can click this little grid box over here. When you click this, you actually get a preview, and when you hover over them, you can see that your image changes. You can actually go down here to uh, Adobe Raw, and you can change all those as well. Uh, you can go down here some more uh, artistic changes, and this is not changing any of the sliders in uh, in your basic panel. This is actually showing how they process the image. So if I click uh, the artistic two here, and I close my browser, you can see nothing has changed as far as the uh, shadows, highlights, exposure, contrast, nothing that has changed. So I can continue to edit this photo down uh, to get exactly how I want it. Profiles are different from presets. Uh, these are just a way of showing how your your photo is processed by Lightroom, but uh, this is kind of a, a getting started method, and presets are more of a, uh, a workflow. Uh, they definitely have uh, all-in-one presets as far as sleek lens cells, uh, but this is just a way of starting out your photo, and then you can move into your presets or start editing them freehand. So that's profiles. I encourage you to, to kind of just play around with profiles, see how you like them, see how they work with your images as well. But again, they only work on raw files. If you shoot a JPEG file and bring it into Lightroom, you will not see uh, the profile options that you usually have. Now let's talk about presets. Presets have not really changed. You can still see them over here on the presets panel, all of these presets installed here. You can still see those there, but the, the way they are converted has been uh, has been changed. So if you were to update your Lightroom and you restart your Lightroom to, to open it again and start editing photos, you're probably gonna see a box like this that says it's updating your, uh, your presets and converting them to an XMP file. Uh, anytime you import a new preset or anytime you download a preset from on line somewhere and you import them into Lightroom, you're going to see this box because it's converting them to an XMP file and most of the time you will see successful. Uh, so it's going to just convert those files over. So I just wanted to show you that box so you know what that's doing and exactly why it's there. So pretty much anytime you put a preset into Lightroom that's an LR template file, which is what they usually are, you're going to see that box as Lightroom converts them over so that you can actually use them. All right, and the last thing I want to touch on that I haven't, I don't really have an example for, but you're going to notice it once you start playing with Lightroom is actually it's a lot faster. Uh, it's definitely a lot faster as far as the import process goes, as, more, as far as rendering smart previews as goes. Uh, it's a really great and fast update, so you're probably going to notice a little bit of a speed increase. So make sure you play around with Lightroom, get used to some of the sliders that have moved, and you're probably going to notice that it's a lot faster than the previous version. 
All right, guys, so those are the major updates to Lightroom Classic CC version 7.3. Uh, again, go ahead and play with them and check them out uh, and, and, and see how the uh, changes actually work for your workflow. But this has been Jordan for SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.